operate uh, the his re-election campaign out of uh, the governor's executive suite uh, here in New York City. Uh, for 68 days, uh, the campaign manager, uh, having been relieved of his responsibilities to state government, uh, conducted campaign business uh, in a government office. That is illegal. And someone, someone in the state of New York needs to hold the governor accountable. So let me tell you what we know, right? Uh, we know that at the close of uh, the federal corruption uh, trial with Joe Prococo, uh, that we learned that in 2014, uh, the governor's campaign manager was afforded access uh, to the governor's office uh, and the executive suite and the executive chamber for 68 days to run Governor Cuomo's campaign re-election efforts. That is clearly against the law. We learned that Mr. Prococo, uh, the governor's campaign manager, uh, had, who had been convicted since on bribery charges, worked out of the executive suite at 633 3rd Avenue in Manhattan for at least 68 days in 2014. We know that he made 837 separate phone calls from the office and enjoyed 24-7 access uh, to the government, governor's executive suite. Now, the governor allegedly provided Mr. Coco with the office immediately next to his very own. So it de defies logic to believe for even a moment uh, that the governor didn't know what Mr. Prococo was doing. Now records go on to show uh, that the governor and Mr. Prococo were usually present in the, in the office at the same time. Listen, everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. And at the end of the day, uh, for weeks, uh, this individual, having no responsibility to the taxpayers of the state of New York, having only one responsibility, that, that is to run uh, the governor's re-election campaign, was provided government services, government resources, taxpayer services, taxpayer resources uh, to run a re-election campaign. That is illegal.